Hi everyone, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Krippner and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Louis Schiffer, um, a professor uh, of soil science at the University of Waikato, which is in the centre of the North Island of New Zealand. Thank you, and also my beloved alma mater. Um, you're going to talk to us a bit about alophane, which is a weathering product of volcanic glass. So once volcanic glass is in the soils, it weathers down, and alophane is one of the products that we have. So why is it so cool? I, I was really interested in talking about alophane because a lot of the soils around Hamilton, which is where I work, um, have got alophane in them. And I guess most people would know or have heard of clays, which are very small particles in soil. And the majority of clays, um, you can imagine them, they're a bit like a book. So there's all these leaves in, in the book. Uh, and that's what a clay kind of looks like, many clays look like. So they're quite dense. Um, but alophane is a bit different. What alophane does is it forms into this little sphere. And I, I, I've got a, this is a, 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 what's called a wiffle ball. It's like a golf ball that you can um, practice with in the backyard because it doesn't go very far. But you can see it's hollow and it's got lots of little holes in it. And alophane looks a bit like this. So instead of having all of these sheets in a book, you have these little balls packed into soil. Now, why is that important? That's important because it has a really large surface area and that surface area has a charge associated with it. Now, because of a high surface area and this high charge, it can store a lot of carbon. So we hear a lot about storing carbon in soils, taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and turning it into organic matter in soil and holding it there. And, and that's taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and reducing um, the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, which is great. Um, but it also provides a number of other really important properties for soil. It, um, it means that the bulk density, how, how dense the soil is, is very low. And that means it's easy for plants to, to grow through. Um, that surface area also holds on to a lot of nutrients. And so now this clay, this elephantic clay, which forms only a small part of the whole soil, provides all of these amazing ecosystem services. It, it, it makes plant growth really um, supported. Uh, it holds on to water and allows water to run through it really nicely, but a bit of both. It holds on to nutrients and it stores enormous amounts of organic matter. That is excellent. Thank you. I've, I've got a lot of questions over the years about why do people live around volcanoes and that is a massive part of it is you have such fertile soils and people can really make an excellent living, feed their families and their communities because of these soils and I grew up on them so I happen to love them as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this volcanic moment. Wonderful. See ya. See ya.